Morning. We're going to talk today about the two different types of stroke. Um, stroke is usually divided up into hemorrhagic, which usually accounts for 10 to 20 percent of strokes, and ischemic, which accounts for approximately 80 to 90 strokes percent of strokes. Um, ischemic strokes uh, are more common, and it's akin to someone having a heart attack of the brain, where there's blockage of a blood vessel with lack of oxygen and blood flow to that brain tissue. That brain tissue then dies. We call that an ischemic stroke. Uh, hemorrhagic strokes, uh, which is less common, but sometimes are much, much more serious, usually present with a severe headache, though uh, they can also have focal neurologic deficits, such as weakness, numbness, difficulty in speaking. Uh, ischemic strokes can have headaches, but also can be painless. So someone could have a neurologic deficit, such as weakness, and not have any pain, but yet that is still also a neurologic emergency. So as Dr. Mike Sell said, there are quite a few symptoms that present with stroke, whether it's the hemorrhagic, that severe, worst headache of your life that you can possibly imagine, versus on the ischemic side, you might have weakness. And when you think about weakness, there's so many diseases out there that can give you weakness, that generalized um, numbness, tingling, and things like that that you want to err on the side of caution. You want to call 911 because you never know what could be causing that numbness and tingling, especially if it's on one side of the body or slurred speech, confusion. Um, oftentimes, you just don't know what's going on. You're not able to find specific words. You want to have your loved ones or pick up the phone and call 911. Don't wait and think that it's going to go away. We have a very short window of time to be able to treat you. Stroke is the number one most preventable disease out there, but it's the number one cause of disability. So we want to be able to treat you. So know those signs and symptoms and get to the hospital right away so that we can treat you.